Teresa Bermudez, Gerard Mahindra, all the respected lords and ladies and the members of parliament, the distinguished guests and the lovely members of the Kashmiri Pandit community. It's such a pleasure and an honor being here. Thank you for inviting us here. We're talking about a very, very pertinent topic today. We just made a film called The Kashmir Files. And Vivek and I have spent the last four years working on this film. We started working, we started researching in the year 2018, and the film only got its release, worldwide release, on the 11th of March 2022. It took us four years to um, open the pages of history, the history which was never written, never mentioned to anyone, which was kept away from every single person. We searched for the Kashmiri Pandit community. We took help from uh, global Kashmiri Pandit, Pandit diaspora leaders and reached the first family of the victims to interview them. As you know that since uh, the entire community was thrown out of their ancestral homes, they have been scattered not just in India but all over the world. And we chased them to the United States of America, to the United Kingdom, Singapore, Thailand, and back in our own country in places like Jammu and Pune, Bangalore, uh, parts of South India, wherever we could find the first generation victims. We have interviewed over 700 people. 700 testimonies made this film possible. 700 human accounts of how their loved ones were brutally murdered, how their mothers were, uh, I don't want to use the word here, but how their modesty was humiliated, how the little children were shot in the head. Absolutely dreadful and painful stories that we witnessed. And finally, the film got released to a tremendous response from people. The people owned the film and we heard stories, we had videos where uh, the Panwalas and the Rikshawalas and the Istriwalas in India have you know, given away free tickets to the young students from colleges and schools asking them to go and watch the film instead of paying them for their services. Now where do you get to see such a phenomenon? The film which was made on a budget of 150 million rupees grossed a 3.5 billion rupees at the box office. <laughs> Our jobs as filmmakers was over. We delivered a film which people saw. We delivered the truth which was accepted by people of my country and the world over. Then what are the two of us doing here? We should be in Bahamas and corking a bottle of champagne, right? But the reason we are here is because Kashmir has become more than a movie for us in this journey of the last four years. This somewhere became a mission for us. When we met all the displaced uh, Kashmiri Pandit community, we forged a bond with them. For me, they are not just brothers and sisters from my country, but they actually became a family to me. And we have been traveling since the film released, we've been traveling city by city within my own country. And we've been traveling to different countries, just making this appeal to all the people to recognize the Kashmiri Pandit genocide. <coughs> When we were showing the film in the United States, we showed the film in 16 different cities before the actual release of the film. And in the uh, state of Rhode Island, we got a proclamation signed by the governor recognizing the genocide of Kashmiri Pandit community. And a few days ago, when we were in Scotland, one of the uh, Scotland members, uh, what are they called? Scottish, Scottish member of MSP. Scottish Parliament, MSP, 
uh, Jackson Carlo has also promised that he would start a motion in the Scottish Parliament and start a debate on the Kashmiri Pandit genocide. And the two of us have traveled here today to urge all of you to please start a dialogue, recognize the genocide of these people, because as you've seen in this the little clip which, which you saw, recognizing that something wrong was done is the first step to justice. Thank you very much.